Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're going to take a look at a new tablet. This is the Xiaomi MyPad 7.9 and it is a tablet that we imported really directly from China uh, last week. We posted a review on the site but I want to do a quick video overview of it as well. What's interesting about this tablet is that it is the first machine really based on the NVIDIA Tegra K1 SOC. That is the SOC that was announced at CES at the beginning of 2014. It has 120 or 192 CUDA cores in it. Essentially one full NVIDIA Kepler SMX in here. A ton of GPU compute capability. In terms of the CPU, you're looking at the standard, uh, basically the same design that Tegra 4 had, which is a 4 plus 1 Cortex A15 design there. So not much has changed. Frequency goes from I think 1.9 to 2.2 gigahertz. So we'll see a little bit of an increase on CPU based stuff. But the big change is really on on the graphics card. The rest of the specs of this are actually pretty impressive as well. It's a 2048 by 1536 resolution screen. It's 7.9 design. Uh, it does have a 6700 milliamp hour battery, which is obviously quite big. Uh, 2 gigs of memory, 16 gigs of storage. I paid $344 uh, for this, imported it from China through I think AliExpress for that. Um, it's, it's, it's running an Android operating system. It's running 442. It does have its own kind of custom uh, launcher and interface for it, so you're not getting a native Android uh, ecosystem or native Android interface rather, which is uh, a little bit disappointing but not terribly unexpected because of the market that this is based in. Uh, it does have, you know, when you, if you import one of these, it's going to have a lot of Chinese applications in it, Chinese uh, Play Store. Uh, and my understanding actually is that the Google Play Store should not actually be working on this, but it does work for us just fine. Um, so I was able to download uh, all the benchmarks and tests and applications that we would normally uh, want to use. Uh, you have your headphones, you have volume rocker, power button, you've got a USB connection, really nothing else in particular stands out here. Um, and you have front facing and rear facing camera. If we look at the benchmarks, CPU scores are somewhere around 10 to 12 percent faster in my testing over the Tegra 4, say with the uh, Tegra Note 7 tablets that have been out on the market for a little while. That's reasonably fast. It's going to be under the performance of a couple of the Qualcomm, maybe under the performance of the Apple and a couple of individual tests uh, like the iPad Air, the iPad uh, Mini Retina, um, which shares a lot of similar specifications to this. The uh, GPU performance, though, is where things really kick up for the uh, Xiaomi MyPad 7.9. Uh, in a couple of our tests, we saw scores that were three to four times faster than anything else out there, including the Tegra 4 uh, and the iPad Air device, which is using Apple's latest A7 SoC. Some of the other tests, you saw 40 to 60 percent better performance. It really just kind of depends what specific subset it was looking at. If you look through the full review at PCPar.com, you can see all those benchmarks laid out. Battery life was around nine hours with this, which is pretty good, but maybe not as impressive when you realize how big that battery is, right? So you're talking about uh, a 6,700 milliamp hour, which is uh, 6,700 milliamp hour battery, which is uh, close to the same size as the iPad Air. And the iPad Air gets significantly more than nine hours of battery life with the Wi-Fi kind of browsing test that we do. Um, visually, it's a very impressive uh, tablet. It has um, like I said, it has high-end graphics, so for Android gaming, it's going to perform very well. One of the things that um, you know, we know about the Tegra K1 and what we know about now that has been announced as the uh, Shield tablet, which will be an 8-inch design using the same SoC, uh, there are a lot of uh, games coming out that are specifically targeting the K1 SoC. This device doesn't have those on there. You can see we do have like the, uh, the NVIDIA Tegra K1 kind of Faceworks demo that they've shown several times in several places um, uh, throughout you know the last year or so, uh, and it's impressive to see. But there's no other real graphical powerhouse games that you can run on this. Uh, we know that Trine 2, for example, will ship with the Shield tablet. We don't yet know if we'll be able to get it on this device uh, one way or the other. So uh, it, it's interesting to see. This is more. This is not something that I would recommend people actually go out and buy or uh, pick up for their own use because of the complications of importing a device that maybe doesn't have official support for the Google Play Store. But it gives you a very good idea of what kind of uh, power the Tegra K1 SoC can create and it gives us a little bit of a hint on you know how its power efficiency ranges out. Right. So it looks like now that in terms of general tablet use it will perform great but it may not have as good a battery life as we would have hoped but in terms of people that want a tablet for gaming purposes graphic purposes 
the Tegra K1 is going to be a pretty good part. Uh, we'll be able to take a full look at the uh, Shield tablet and its accessories uh, later next week. But for now, this is the Xiaomi MyPad 7.9, uh, a tablet that I think is impressive technically, but you should not be picking up. Check out the full review over at PCPro.com if you want benchmarks and more photos. We'll see you next time.